Hey, what's up, guys? It's Kevin with Fandroid here, and I'm at Pepcom at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. And we're with the guys from Quick Office. This is Sergey, and he's going to give us a look at some of the new stuff that's going on with a, a Quick Office update that's coming out in April, right? Yeah, that's correct. Right. Right. So I'm going to show you some features, um, some exciting features. Of, first of all, uh, our top request from the end users was a spell checker. So I'm going to type something correct and then uh, I'm going to go select spell check. So if you can see, it highlighted the word. There is the dotted line that shows that it's uh, misspelled. And if I type tap on that word, it's going to give me the list of uh, suggestions. So I can add a word to the dictionary or I can ignore it. And I can also <coughs> select different languages. So this is a pretty exciting feature. I think uh, all users will be happy to see it. Uh, another one of the top requests was uh, table editing. So what I can do is I can drag and drop here and you can see how it dynamically changes the table format. I can uh, format my cells. I can select a style for the tables. And of course, it's, uh, it's all of our features are fully compatible with Microsoft format. So it's going to save it all back to the document. And so we're looking at this on a Samsung tablet. Is this going to be tablet exclusive features? Are they going to be on the smartphone version as well? Uh, no, it's available on smartphone as well. So, but all the new features are going to be on no, that on, on tablets and smartphones. Uh, almost all of them. There are some features that make sense more on the larger screen. For example, in uh, uh, point in uh, our presentations, edit, we added some uh, more different types of shapes. And so, typically, people tend to edit PowerPoint presentations on tablets more than they do on smartphone. Uh, but other than that, it's going to be the same. One more feature I want to show to you, which I think is going to be really exciting for the users, is uh, PDF annotations in the highlights. Uh, so we added a whole bunch of different tools for uh, reviewing and annotating PDF, so I can draw some freeform stuff, I can uh, circle around different elements, if I want to add a comment somewhere, I can go and add either a sticky note, which will let me put some text in here, and it's going to touch this note, I can move it if I don't want it, or I, I can delete it. If I want to do some more text work, I can uh, add a text box. And then if I want to say a lot of stuff here, uh, this is the way to do it. And this is all saved back to PDF formats. If you open it on the desktop, you can see all these annotations. Can you save it in a way where you, if you open on another device, you'll be able to edit it more? Or will those all be saved and point to the PDF? Uh, I can edit this one more. So when I select the shape, I still have, uh, I can first of all uh, change the uh, alliance of the existing annotation, or uh, I can change the text, or, or sorry, the color, or... can't hit that button. So basically, uh, yes, you can edit. Edit it all. So, and that's just PDF editing. So that's yeah. is that that's coming in the, the April update? Yep. Very cool. So, so this is going to be version uh, 5.5. Our current version is 5.0. All right. So that's a look at some of the new things happening with Quick Office. Uh, we're at Pepcom in, in Barcelona here, Marvel, Mobile World Congress. Thanks for giving us a look at that, Sergey. Thanks a lot.